let's look at finding the domain of a function. For example, let's find the domain of this function and write our answer in interval notation. Now the domain of this function is the set of all x that make square root 4 minus x divided by x minus 1 a real number. Now the first thing to notice here is this x minus 1 in the denominator. x minus 1 cannot equal 0. Otherwise we'd be dividing by 0 and this ratio would not be a real number. Which means x cannot equal 1. Therefore we'll have to exclude x equal 1 from the domain. Now what else do we notice about this function? The numerator here contains a square root. And a square root will be a real number as long as what's under the square root, namely 4 minus x, is greater than or equal to 0, or x has to be less than or equal to 4. Looking on the number line, let's say this is 4 and this is 1. x equal to 1 has to be excluded from our domain. So let's put an open circle here at 1. But any other x less than or equal to 4 will be in the domain. That is, we'll put a closed circle at 4 less than we go to the left, but we cannot include 1. So this would be our domain graphed here. However, we're asked to put our answer in interval notation. Therefore, our answer would be negative infinity up to 1, open parenthesis at 1 because we cannot include 1, union, again open parenthesis at 1, up to 4, close bracket at 4 because we can include 4. And this is how we find the domain of a function. We look for the set of all x values that make f of x a real number. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.